Hi boys and girls, welcome to week four. I hope everybody is doing good on their schoolwork. Remember, if you ever need any help with anything, I am a phone call away. Today I have a special book. This book we are gonna read for a few weeks because it's a chapter book. We're gonna do it chapter by chapter. It is called Frog and Toad Together. This is a very good book. It is illustrated by Arnold LaBelle. Now, the first chapter we come to in this book is called A List. Now, I want you guys to think about it while I read the chapter A List about what kind of list you would like to make. It can be a list for anything. How your day goes, how to do your homework, TV schedule, whatever you like. But think about the list as I read the story. Starting chapter one, a list. One morning, Toad sat in bed. <clears throat> I have many things to do, he said. I will write them all down on a list so that I can remember them. Toad wrote on a piece of paper, a list of things to do today. Then he wrote, wake up. I have done that, said Toad, and he crossed out, wake up. Then Toad wrote other things on the paper, a list of things to do. Wake up, eat breakfast, get dressed, go to Frog's house, take a walk with Frog, eat lunch, take a nap, play games with Frog, eat supper, and go to sleep. This is the kind of list you guys should be thinking about. There, said Toad, now my day is all written down. He got out of bed and had something to eat. Then Toad crossed out eat breakfast. So he has wake up and eat breakfast crossed out. Toad took his clothes out of the closet and put them on. Then he crossed out get dressed. Toad put the list in his pocket. So he's got three things done on his list. He opened the door and walked out into the morning. Soon Toad was a, at Frog's house. He took the list from his pocket and crossed out, go to Frog's house. So that was number four on his list that he has now accomplished for the day. Toad knocked at the door. Hello, said Frog. Look at my list of things to do, said Toad. Oh, said Frog. That's very nice. Toad said, my list tells me that we will go for a walk. All right, said Frog. I am ready. Frog and Toad went on a long walk. Then Toad took the list from his pocket again. He crossed out, take a walk with Frog. Just then there was a strong wind. It blew the list out of Toad's hand. The list blew high up into the air. Help, cried Toad. My list is blowing away. What will I do without my list? Hurry, said Frog. We will run and catch it. No, shouted Toad. I cannot do that. Why not, asked Frog. Because, wailed Toad, running after my list is not one of the things that I wrote on my list of things to do. Frog ran after the list. He ran over hills and swamps, and the list blew on and on. At last, Frog came back to Toad. I am sorry, gasped Frog, but I could not catch your list. 
Boss said Toad. Toad is very upset that his list is gone. I would be too because that's what organizes your day. I cannot remember any of the things there were on my list of things to do. I will just have to sit here and do nothing, said Toad. Toad sat and did nothing. Frog sat with him. After a long time, Frog said, Toad is getting dark. We should be going to sleep now. Go to sleep, shouted Toad. That was the last thing on my list. Toad wrote on the ground with a stick, Go to sleep. Then he crossed out, go to sleep. There, he said, Toad. Now my day is all crossed out. I am glad, said Frog. Then Frog and Toad went right to sleep. The end. Chapter 2. The Garden will come next week. I want you guys to think about a list you would like to make and make one for yourself. It might help you out through your day to get organized. Until next week, this is your teacher, Mr. Russell, signing out. Keep studying good, kids. Bye.